October day 11, I believe this is. You know, of course, fun driving, doing what he do best. Say hey to the yeah, vlog. Let's see, let's see. What's good, YouTube? So, you know, normally I start the vlogs off with us working and stuff, but since today is just going to be a driving day, um, we're going to be doing mostly driving. It's just going to be us sitting in the seat today. It's not really going to be us doing no work today. I don't been dry. I don't have my CDL in my hands for like two years now and next year will be my third year with my cdl now i'm not saying you know just because i got my cdl and i done had it for two years i'm not a rookie but i'm not just a new new person out here eating. wow he like I hate it strictly cut, cut you off cut it, turn around oh. cars like this they speed up now but for no reason they just gotta cut you off and go slow and then speed up but that's one thing I hate when I'm driving and then the car just got to get right in front of the truck. Yeah, I know most of these trucks just got the sensor or whatever. So like he said, he doesn't like when cars cut him off. And I, if you leave it in the comments, how many times have y'all been cut off while y'all been driving on this road? Because let me tell you, I've been cut off a good amount of times. And i just been like... <laughs> But then you know you can't have road rage on the road, so you just be calm and you drive. A lot, just regular four wheel cars, though. That's a whole video, a whole category by itself. It is though. Just the whole four wheel cars who don't know how to drive. They don't know how to merge. Man, merging. merging. Oh my god. <laughs> There's another thing merging, I don't. Bro. I don't like. like if y'all haven't got y'all license yet, or oh y'all just watching a video for some reason and y'all not truck drivers, please, when you getting on freeways, bro, speed up. Speed up. Act like you want to be on the freeway. Don't match our speed and be, like, be on the side. Cousin. This is us coming on the freeway. This is y'all. Y'all sit there on the side of us the whole fucking time, and then we be like, okay, well, if you don't speed up, your ass gonna end up on the side of the road. So we just be like, are you gonna speed up? Are you gonna slow down? Like, figure out what you wanna do before you come on the freeway, especially when it's a truck. Because y'all, people who drive cars got that so bad. We be driving, and they just be acting like, sometimes they'll slow down on the old ramp, and they'll let us go. Sometimes they'll speed up and you know go, but then it's those people who don't know who what they want to do that make merging way harder. They make merging way harder than what it gotta be. Truck drivers who didn't hit all, all that drove all the states already. We've hit every state except like Alaska and of course Hawaii. And we don't hit South Dakota. We haven't been up there either. Nah, no saying we've hit. We've hit all the states. Y'all put y'all. I want to say top three. Three worst states to drive in. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, yeah. And leave it in the comments, y'all. Three top states y'all hate to drive in. So me and Huck in the green. May. On, on two of them. New Cali York. And New York. And California. <laughs> my top three, my number one will always be New York. My number one will be New York. Because New York is trash as fuck. Like, the roads are small, the bridges are small, it's uh, too many people there, it's very congested. New York is my number one. Three is L uh, New York, LA, and Chicago. Worst traffic, say, worst traffic. I'm gonna say, like she said, New York, I ain't gonna say LA specifically, bro, because I ain't been, I ain't drove through LA it's a the, whole, It's bro. the 55 speed limit for me. LA <laughs> as a whole, because I've been on 15, yeah. and it take me to go 60 miles. No, I take that back. To go 20 miles, it has taken me two hours before. Or people stalling out on 15 going through Victorville yeah. or any of that little area. And then I've been on 10, and I've had to take two hours to go 20 minutes. So that little area going into L.A., yeah. that whole little the area whole right California. there, I hate that area. Yeah. For me, I'm going to say Cali first. Yeah. Cali first. New York after that because I mean I've been in some bad New York traffic but it kind of moved along. I'm gonna put the vlog. I'm gonna put the vlog like up this. here so y'all can go back and see his struggle driving through New York because he but, forgot. But put it like this: if it's nighttime, I've been in, in through New York in nighttime and in the morning time, and I've got through there real easy. But if it's like peak hours of the day, then I expect it to be traffic in New York. I, that's why I said Cali first, New York second, and New York is. Not because of the traffic, it's just the way the bridges are low. Besides that, Florida. I'm gonna say Florida. I forgot all about Florida. Just, 
Y'all just got something else going Florida on. Florida can't like, drive. Y'all don't know how to drive. Well, what freeway is that? They be having about six wrecks on 95. it. 95? Oh, my in God. In Florida? 95 in Florida? Every you not, you five minutes is a wreck. I forgot about Florida. Florida? Y'all can't drive in Florida. <laughs> it's that Florida water. I don't know what's in that Florida water, but y'all can't drive in Florida. Well, yeah, that's my top three. Cali, New York, Florida. Damn, that's now I want to change it because you're right. Florida is horrible. I forgot how no, bad I mean, you know, Florida Chicago, is. Chicago. I mean, Chicago is bad too, but Florida? Y'all been out here driving. Y'all just leave y'all top three. But I think I think fun on the sum with New York, uh, California, and Florida. <laughs> It's not, to me, it's not enough truck stops. Like, we need more truck stops. It's very crowded out here. Like, sometimes you'll go to some areas that's dead, and I've never seen a truck stop fill up in some areas. But then some areas, like major cities, I feel like need way more truck stops than what they offer sometimes. But you got some of these states with a lot of open land, and it's great. They got eight truck stops, you know what I'm saying, all within an hour radius of each other. But and they then, barely be getting full uh, filled up. But then you go to some places like, for instance, Cincinnati. If you go to Cincinnati, it ain't no truck stops around Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? Granted, it's built weird, the city, but still, it's like no truck stops. If you got to drop off in Cincinnati, which we pick up in Cincinnati a lot. But when we pick up, we got to park always at least an hour or so outside of the city. An hour it ain't nothing. Yeah, it ain't nothing to drive, but I know you'd rather spend like 45 minutes or that hour in bed before your drive than rather have to wake up an hour before you got to, you know what I'm saying? But pretty much, bro, it's just, it's like real crowded. Even though they're saying it's a shortage of drivers, it's real crowded in a lot of, in a lot of areas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, just, it's basically most of the major cities that need more truck stops. But then there's a lot of major cities that don't want trucks parking in the true, city. True. So they'll oh, put all the their truck stops yeah. on the outside of the city. And of course, it's kind of like that in Dallas too. Like in Dallas, all the truck stops for Dallas are on the outside of the city. Like yeah. you're not gonna go park in Dallas in a truck. Like it's not happening when you park in the Oak Cliff, Lancaster, Red Oak area. That's where all the truck stops are. You're not parking in Dallas. So if you gotta stop in Dallas, you gotta like, go drive into Dallas like so even our city is like that but another thing that I don't like about trucking is showers bro I get it you get what you get when you out here on the road you not for you know I'm not expecting greatness when I walk into these showers but half the time you walk into these showers bro these showers ain't clean bro these showers ain't clean like okay like just horror story real quick shower horror story so when me and Vaughn was training, I was at a TA with my female student and we were finna get ready to shower. I did not want to pay for a shower, so we fueled, so I used the fuel points to shower or whatever, right? So I used my points, I go in to the shower, and when I tell you this shower was scary, that was so nasty. Like when I say this shower was nasty, like I walked in there and I didn't even want to get naked to take a shower. And I didn't even go cap. I didn't. I took a whole bath out the sink. And now, if y'all don't know what a whole bath is, it's basically you, you get a water, soap in the towel, you stand on it, and you wipe it down, you scrub everywhere that means something. They tried to make it like a home shower. They tried. Like he said, they tried to make the shower like it was a home shower. Like, you know how when you at home, you got a stand-up shower, you got the glass door, you open up the door, you step into the shower, you shower, open the door, step out. You opened up that door and the whole shower, it, it was supposed to be white, but it was brown. The whole shower was brown. And you could tell that ain't nobody went in there and took a towel to that wall and wiped that shit down in over a year. Cause some of the stains looked like they were dry. The floor looked at a hot ass mess. It was mold growing around the shower. And then the shower had the nerve to have a door on it. So like you would have literally enclosed yourself butt ass naked in the dirt and the mold that they had going on in that shower. I wish I could put a picture up to describe what the shower looked like for y'all because the shower was a hot ass and mess. Like, don't get me wrong, I've been in some bad showers. The only thing I don't like about the showers out here is because the people are not really cleaning it. Like, I get it. You got so many people taking a shower every single day, so they get tied up on there after every person in shower, but Man, at the same no, time, it's like, I'm paying my money. They not seen them sit there, you know what I'm saying? I've seen, I've seen what they do. I've talked with some of the people who clean the showers, you know what I'm saying? And I, I like she was about to say I understand the 
but y'all gotta be quick. Y'all trying to get us a shower. They all probably got 10 people lined up, especially like around four, between four and like eight o'clock when people just parking back to back and they just getting showers. Y'all trying to really get them rotate. Pretty much what they do at these truck stops, after we done, they pick up our towels, woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. ain't no mopping the floor. See, I was naive no when I first came out here. I'm thinking like, oh, we getting the floors no. after each person. Toilet get cleaned after each person, nah. fuck no. I done walked in the bathroom with shit stains in the toilet still after yeah. they done claimed it was clean before. They probably give it a couple of minutes, but then again, I've been in some showers and the floor still wet from the last person. Yeah, I done been in some showers, the floor still wet from the last person. I done been in some showers yeah. where I done walked in and you could tell the person who was in there before me done took a major shit because it smelled like it. I done walked into some showers where you walk in the shower and the shower's still wet from the person taking the shower. They ain't even wiped down the shower. Like You just right. walked in and the shower still like you can tell that somebody just hopped out the shower. Now you can hop in after they just hopped out. Don't get me wrong, like I've been to some great showers, like showers with two heads, one in the front, oh one in the God. back, where you best get shower, in there. The best shower I ever took was in Cali. It was in, uh, dang, Fontana, California. It's a pilot or something like that. I, I think it's pilot or pilot, one of the two. And it's huge. You can fit like eight people in this shower. And they got oh, a yeah. shower head on both sides. Yeah. That shower was fire. Like she was saying though, it don't take much, especially if we pay for these showers. Sometimes y'all charge $15, $15 $20 like, for a shower. And then you get in there least, and smell somebody else's shit. At least once a month. At least once a month. Like Do a deep clean of the bleach shower. Bleach that bitch down. You don't even got a deep <laughs> clean. I want to go in that bitch and smell some bleach around this hole. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. You, ain't doing, you ain't getting that. Like once a month is all it takes. Man. You know what I mean? During y'all close the showers down. And if the drink y'all close the showers down sometime anyway. Right. Showers be shut down and all this different shit. Yeah, like, take time to do that. One time we went to a fucking shower and I had just got out the shower. Me and Bun just got out the shower. And we were watching some woman who went into the shower. She had a whole shower bag in her hand. And she had whole ferrets on around her neck finna go take a shower with these animals, bro. I've seen people go into showers with their dogs. While I want I stress how bad they really need to clean these showers because some people be showering with their dogs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Stay your dog got a shower too. But at the same time, if they not cleaning the bathroom correctly and I'm walking in there after they, you know, been in there with their dog to use the bathroom and they not cleaning the bathroom, it's just like, now I'm sorry for my animal lovers out there. I understand y'all do gotta wash y'all dogs, but some people be bringing their dogs, reptiles, ferrets, and all type of shit in these bathrooms and they don't be cleaning these bathrooms properly. So we all just be in the bathroom together at this point, okay? And I also suggest y'all who are just getting into the trucker game to get truckers pad because on the cool, you really could go in and read some of these reviews and they'll let you know off top, oh, showers is dirty, don't shower here. Oh, showers are clean, great, you know, so I would suggest trucker's pads. And if you don't want to look like, I'm gonna put a little picture of it right here. And you know, at truck stops, they be hiking up the prices just because we truck drivers. Shit that's really like a dollar at Walmart be like $3 at the truck stop. So the fact that they making us pay all these premium ass prices, but we don't get no premium ass showers is some bullshit. I don't even paying for parking spots. I don't know if y'all be paying for parking spots. Only in places that I have to. Like in New York or something. Yeah. Where they and, make it pay. This is like down there in Miami. Down, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? South, South, in, South. In Miami, Atlanta. South Florida. Now around the Atlanta area that make you pay for New Orleans, they got parking that's free, but that's that's filling up quick. Yeah, the free parking always. You know what I'm saying? Ass. If you in a place where it ain't got a lot of parking, like I was talking about area earlier, it's a major city. And a lot of these major cities, what they do is they'll have most of their parking spots where you gotta pay for. Yeah. But try not to park in places like that. But if you got to pay, you gotta pay. But I do hate that because I don't feel like I should pay to have to park even though you can get reimbursed and it is what it is but i just don't be liking to have to do all that True. Stuff. some companies don't even reimburse you for paying for parking no yeah if your company so, don't reimburse you for paying for parking that's, that's i wouldn't pay for, uh, i wouldn't pay for parking if my company won't reimburse me to pay for parking because for what i'm parking your load <laughs> safely you need to pay for this okay Yeah. It's not us coming after a year.
here thinking we know everything. Like it's still more to learn out here, but at the same time, a lot of this stuff is repetitive. It's very repetitive. We don't been out here for two and a half years, and we understand that a lot of this stuff is repetitive. We understand that there's room to grow, but there's also growing pains, and these are some of our trucking growing pains. Okay, these are some of the things that you know, as truck drivers, we don't learn that you know we got to deal with it. But sometimes when it happens, it's very inconvenient to us. Okay. Right. Let us know what y'all don't like about being out here or what you right. can deal with while you out here. Right. Of course, the time being gone from the house, that's that's a given. Mm -hmm. But let us know, you know what I'm saying, what y'all feel like. Let us know in the comments anything that y'all, that gets on y'all nerves as y'all got out here and y'all done start doing it. Y'all done been out here for a minute. Like, let me know, is there some things that y'all find inconvenient? Some things that get on y'all nerves, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up because I gotta drive tonight and of course, you know, Vlogtober, so y'all gonna see me driving tonight and I'm gonna take y'all through my night drive. I'm gonna be slumbering, you know, cause he don't never drive at night. I always drive at night. I put the team on my back. I put the team on my back. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, don't forget to comment below. Talk to us. I'll be trying to come back to everybody. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs>